Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Gabber Backpacking, and today I am still out here at the Texas Fall Hang down in Fairfield Lake State Park in Fairfield, Texas. So one of the things I have been asked about and I really thought I wanted to get out here and show you guys and talk about is what my favorite quilt set is. Now I kind of hinted at this and talked about it in my last trip video out on the Eagle Rock Loop, but I am using my probably most versatile and favorite set of tarps or set of quilts out on this trip. And those are my UGQ quilts. So it's a combination of the UGQ Zeppelin underneath and the Burrow top quilt. Uh, UGQ does a lot of custom work and my stuff is absolutely no different in that it is fully customized to what I wanted. So why don't we take a look at what I've got and what I like about it. Let's go. This is my Zeppelin underquilt. It's a 20 degree quilt by UGQ. You can see the amount of loft it has, just how puffy it is. Uh, I did it two tone, two color, so I've got the Moroccan blue on the outside and the lime green yellowish on the inside. It's got this awesome draft collar, which really helps when you have small gaps between the quilt and the hammock that draft collar uh, will help fill those fill those voids like you see right there. Now when you're in it, of course, the hammock's gonna be spread out a little bit more and those gaps aren't gonna be nearly as, uh, as prevalent as they are right now when it's just kind of gathered up. Now it has a full suspension system, so you've got the main suspension that goes all the way through the channel on the end, and then you have the adjustments where you can adjust the tension and positioning of the quilt then you have the drawstring on the ends uh, which is also shock cord that tightens it up so that you can make those micro adjustments to close up these gaps as you're laying in it now it helps to have a friend so that you can lay in there and then have them make the adjustments so that you close up all of those holes and get it positioned exactly where you want uh, but this thing is super soft, super comfortable, and very warm. Very, very warm. I mean, you can just see the uh, downy goodness of this and just how puffy and uh, just warm. I mean, it just looks warm. You can see just the loft on it. Uh, and with these these baffles that run horizontal, you can you can shift the down, you can migrate the down just by padding it to where you want it. And, and really kind of uh, change the, the temperature profile of it slightly to, uh, to make it work a little bit better for you. Now the length, this is not, a, not quite a full length quilt. This is uh, 66 inches long, which for me, I am five foot seven. It is a little bit above the shoulder to a little bit below the feet. I have a pillow, and so this works perfect for uh, all except for those extremely, extremely cold nights. So you can see that's my foot end. This is my head end. So my head will be a little bit past the, the quilt, but it'll be on my pillow. My shoulders are fully covered. It's wide enough that it covers well over my shoulder. It'll come up the other side and it'll be above my shoulder over here. My head will be on the right side. Foot will be over on this side and it provides awesome awesome coverage okay so i'm laying inside of here right now and with the sun outside you can see where the quilt lies and you can see that my shoulder is fully covered and it's actually a little bit further over on this side uh, not as easy to see but it's up high enough i'm good there if we turn around and look down at my feet you can see right there is the line where uh, you can see the sun kind of coming through right there so my feet are fully covered right here it's up over the side you can see it right there is the uh the quilt so my feet are fully in fully covered plus i will be in 
my top quilt, which is my UGQ Burrow, which is right here. More soft, downy goodness. So let's take a look at that. All right, so I have the Burrow on me right now. Uh, very, very nice, fluffy, down quilt here. It has vertical baffles running through your torso, and then down at the feet, it has horizontal to uh, to keep it around your feet. Now, because you have the under quilt, you can actually migrate some of that down up onto the top and keep your feet a little bit warmer. I opted for a sewn foot box, so this one does not open and lay flat. So I feel that anything 20 degrees or colder should be a sewn foot box, just because that that keeps any drafts from being in at all. You don't have snaps that open up, you don't have a zipper, you don't have pulls, there's no hole at the bottom. This is sewn completely shut and it keeps it definitely warmer. It is a fully insulated foot box. And I feel that really for 20 degrees, zero degrees, anything anything below 20, that is definitely the way to go. Okay, here is that, that foot box, that sewn foot box. You can see here, it is fully enclosed at the bottom. And on the back side, it comes up about a foot or so before you get to the snaps that you can open up. And so then it has the two snaps and then uh, opens up into the back. And you've got some tie out points where you could do a suspension system if you're gonna go to ground and have this on a pad. Um, I went with the 800 on this. I've got the 850 on my under quilt, but together these things work really, really well. Reason I went with the 800 instead of the 850 is the 800 does resist the um, condensation and any dampness a little bit better than the higher loft stuff. The higher loft stuff actually ends up being a little bit more affected by uh, humidity, dampness, a little bit more than the uh, than the lower. Now the lower, it does take a little bit more of the fill, a little bit more weight to get you there, but really between 800 and 850, you're not talking about a huge difference in weight, but I have found a little bit of a difference there in performance. So I have been asked quite a few times what my favorite X, Y, or Z piece of gear is, and one of the big ones is always a quilt set. So quilts are extremely important to a, a happy, comfortable trip, a comfortable night in a hammock, and I think getting the right quality stuff, take the time, save the money, and invest in the right stuff the first time. And I think you're going to be happier, and you're going to enjoy your trips a whole lot better. Get something that has the right type of adjustments so that you can get it set up right. Have a friend work with you to get it so that it is fit to your hammock and fit to your system really well. Just go with the right stuff and I think you're gonna be happier. This is what has worked really well for me. If you have something that works for you, stick with it, go with it. But if you're in the market and you're looking, hey, these are what happen to work really well for me. Check them out, might be the right option for you. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. If you have any questions and comments, leave them down below. If you haven't done so before, please think about subscribing to the channel. Go down, hit that subscribe button. Right next to it, there'll be a bell icon. Click that and you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video. Thanks for checking this out. I will see you guys down the trail.